I'm back. Is it running? Mm-hmm. Okay, fantastic. All right, everybody. I've been gone for a long time. I've been busy. I've got this new book. I'm pushing the book. I'm going to plug the book for the next couple of months until it comes out on the shelf. But before I, before we go on to some of these reviews, because I still have so many to do, and I'm sorry it's taking me so long, so I'm going to get back at it. But I want to talk about one of my products, and it's called the Michael Jordan Wall Ball, and I'm going to show you right here. Ears. You see that? Got it? Can you believe someone paid me 10 years for this idea? 10? James tells me, go back, Steve. 10 years someone paid me for this. Unbelievable. My wife said, when I first showed this idea to my wife, she says, there's no way anybody's ever going to pay you a dime. But this idea, as simple as it looks, really solve some problems. Now I went down, I love playing basketball, and I went down to the store, Toys R Us, and I looked at all the basketball games, and I noticed that they, all the basketball games had a square backboard. Square backboard, pretty boring. I love the game, I couldn't understand it. One particular manufacturer, Ohio Art, had a backboard with the picture of Michael Jordan. And I loved Michael Jordan, he was like my hero, and I thought, Michael needs to be bigger. So I went back home and I started dreaming how I could change a basketball game. And how could I make it fun? How could I take the graphics of Michael Jordan, put it on the backboard to to make it just have this wow factor? So sure enough, I went down to the Hallmark store, bought a poster of Michael Jordan, slapped it on the back, and I called it Hoop Hoop Hooray. Hoop Hoop Hooray. That's like the worst name on the planet. I showed it to my wife. I met my wife at Worlds of Wonder. She's this smart woman. She, she, all she did in her career was take new products and bring them to market. She showed it to my wife. I said, Janice, what do you think? She said, Steve, this is terrible. The chances of you licensing an idea like this are about one in a million. Why don't you forget about it? So I, the very next day, I sent it off to Ohio Art. They loved it. Three days later, I had a contract. And this is what I learned. Number one, go down to the marketplace. You be the expert. You find the opportunities. You find that little bit of difference that you can you can make to a product to give it that wow. Number two, don't listen to anybody else. Don't have someone review it. The only people that really matter are the companies you're going to show it to. Now, if I had listened to my wife at the time now, we're, we're in Modesto. She's vice president of marketing for Gallo Winery, the highest ranking woman in the history of the company. If I had listened to her, I would have never have done anything. So trust your gut on some of the stuff, you guys. It's very, very important. Don't listen to anybody else. The only opinion that matters is that company you're going to show it to. So thank you. Here's one of mine. It's called the Michael Jordan Wall Ball. Ten years. Can you believe it? I got paid for every one. Thanks.